I am used to people challenging my ideas. In fact, I live for it, the cut and thrust of spirited debate. Lately, however, attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats of violence against my person and against my colleagues. Thanks to you, the Ghost Club's reputation has grown tremendously. We are a beacon of reason in a world beguiled by superstition. You've done more for London citizens lately than any endeavor has accomplished in a decade, but those citizens were already well provided for. I challenge you both to help those who really need your assistance, the working people. Every worthwhile endeavor is fraught with dangers, my dear friends. None more so than yours. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Today, Staric sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. Lucy Thorne is expecting a shipment tonight. She's Starek's expert in the occult. I'm nearly certain she is receiving the piece of Eden Sir David Brewster mentioned. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend, put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the Shroud. Bishop tells me Otzoberg is here. I will kill him for you. There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. I need you to save them. In return, we offer you intelligence, something you clearly need. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. It's our business to keep London in balance, monitoring shipments by road, sea, and rail. Our biggest problem, the blighters. Thank you kindly. I was in ever such a squeaky fix when, what do you know? You rescue me. This one needs proper care, but without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. I need supplies, plenty of them, and medicine. We kept buying drinks, the next thing I know, they say I burked someone. I had one too many and lost all me things. What's the meaning of this? I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad. Broken, even, after your mother's passing. That kind of pain can blind us, cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. I thank you for your help in collecting these bounties. I am impressed with all you have accomplished, and uh, I wish you luck with your future endeavors. We may have struck a blow against the enemy, but London is still riddled with German agents. I dare not approach Mr. Asquith without firmer evidence, but I believe they pose an immediate threat. Your remarkably armed boat deserves a share of recognition, and I suppose this victory will thrust you back into the limelight. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years and we'll run a thousand more. 
We fight to gain what we cannot take with us. It's in our nature. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterrick has a glorious design for mankind. I knew this day would come. Mr. Starrick was furious I lost the engines. So this is my comeuppance. How like an assassin. To hold the power of eternal life and yet be too afraid to use it. A man like Starrick builds a world around his own desires. And so we lose the ability to dream for ourselves. Our new motorized buses will bring us both a lot of money. Alas, that the hero of Balaclava should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. We were supposed to launch the Iabstergo satellite today. Uh, what might have been. Having conscious in my head is the craziest fucking thing. But it's also... soothing somehow. Juno has an entire cult of worshippers under her thrall. The Inner Sanctum may not see a threat. I do. We cannot let our emotions disrupt the lawful structures of society. If we do that, the enemy wins. We alone protect this city of light. You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all.